you've read this quote from Brian Stevenson where he said, people aren't defined by the worst things that they've done or they've ever experienced. And so then I knew that I wanted to show people were more than the things that they were experiencing or going through, which is addiction, homelessness. And so I took my journalistic career and started just having conversations and interviewing people on the street and trying to share more of the humanity behind them and not so much the things they're experiencing. Hi, my name is Jordan Verdeen. Um, I'm the founder of Humanity Showers. I've been interviewing people on the streets since 2014 with the mission of bringing visibility to people experiencing homelessness. From 2014 to 2023, I've interviewed over 800 individuals experiencing homelessness. And the goal here is just to provide a space where people can learn about others, where they can grow their consciousness and hopefully be able to overcome the negative stereotypes and the implicit bias that's sometimes associated with people experiencing homelessness. And so we're in partnership with the San Diego Public Library, where for the next two years we'll be taking these street stories exhibit on the road, Humanity Showers exhibit, and bringing visibility to one of San Diego's most pressing societal issues we have right now. And so I'm just thankful for the opportunity to be able to bring visibility to people experiencing homelessness. Even if you still go right now, like we see a lot of people on the streets, but we don't really see them. We don't know them. We don't know their stories. And so they, that was the, that was still, it's still the biggest need. People say they feel like they're a ghost. They feel like people don't see them. And so I started, even my first show was actually in our Oceanside Library. I put uh, the stories up there. We did 30 portraits and then kind of use that as a way to get people to see people, but then use it as a way to start raising funds to build our, our mobile shower trailer. So now we have, this first shower trailer was our like beta prototype, but now we have, these are like six stall shower trailers and these cost about 80,000 each. And now we have five of these units that go to, from, we do showers from downtown LA, Orange County and San Diego six days a week on 100% volunteer basis. Our main goal is just trying to fight the implicit bias, the negative stereotypes, and kind of shift people's consciousness. And a lot of times people say people that are experiencing homelessness, they don't want to work or they're lazy. And a lot of times it's people that are just lacking opportunity. So to, to really combat that, like the only people that receive any type of compensation in our organization are people that are actively experiencing homelessness. So six days a week, including today and right now, there's a 100% homeless staff that runs the mobile shower. So every single day, except for Sundays, you have to give them one day off, you know. Um, it, the, 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 the showers are ran by the community for the community. And so it's just a lot different. The power dynamics are different. It's peer to peer. They have their own keys, they set up. So it's like an initiative that came from the homeless community and now that the homeless community is running. And if you look at a lot of people who are experiencing homelessness, one of the places they come to most is the public library. It's accessible, it's free, they have restrooms. And so a lot of times they might not be able to be shown in a public space, but this is a space that's kind of their own. So having the stories in a library, what I love about it is it one, it promotes accessibility. Anyone from any community comes here and they can see these stories and hopefully be able to not only just learn about this exhibit, but then maybe be encouraged to dive deeper into learning. And they're supported by different programs and different resources that the libraries have that could potentially lead to more innovation and more creation to societal issues. So I love the public library and I'm not getting paid to say this, but just because accessibility, anyone can come here, anyone, no matter what, if you're homeless, if you're a multi-millionaire, billionaire, no matter what you are, who you are, what you do, this place is for you. And that's why I'm happy to partner with the library and be able to make these stories seen to a wider audience.